Today I am showing you how to put three Albus Strike structure decks together to hopefully have a solid playable deck ready for modern Yu-Gi-Oh! After that, in this video, I will also show you some combos so you know how to get started with the deck. Now after that, I will create a new video where you get a budget version of the deck. So rather than just having the three structure decks, you add a few more affordable cards to make it even stronger, even more competitively viable. And then finally, finally, I will make a video where I go over the full power, fully competitive, you know, maxed out version of the deck. That's if you want to whale, if you want to spend hundreds and hundreds to make it the best it could possibly be. So this way you basically have an Albus Strike week. We started off with the unboxing. We then have the three structures together, which is the cheapest thing you can do. Then we have the budget version. And finally, we have the full power competitive version. If that's something you enjoy, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And how about we go into this three structures together profile. Now, before we get into the specific cards, I do want to say shout out to Max van Neversale a incredible competitive player, loads of tops, both regionals and YCS, national championships and so forth. He helped me with the initial list. I think we then spoke about it a little bit. I changed a couple cards, of course, with his agreement. And that is the final list for these three structure decks together. So, you know, it's not just a YouTuber rando you're getting the list from. So first we start with triple springen kits. This is probably one of the most important cards in the deck. You essentially have to think of it at like three kits, three keepers and then three branded fusion and this is essentially nine ways to open up combo that's like the easiest way to think about it you have nine cards that all lead to branded fusion seven eight and nine being the branded fusion itself and that then leads to eventually hopefully this powerful boss monster right here that is the biggest goal this deck has when it isn't fully upgraded. So once you add all the upgrades and so forth that you will be seeing on this channel, again, subscribe for that, then obviously you'll have bigger and better boards. But just to structure decks together, your goal is going to be make this guy and then possibly also the counter trap on top to hopefully have even more interruptions. So these nine do that. So let's talk about Spring and Kit. It says, if you have a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albus as material on your field or in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. All right. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add to your hand one of your branded spells slash traps that is banished or in your deck or graveyard, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. So the way this card leads to your branded fusion is essentially you can normal summon it out. You know, in, in the worst case, you only have this and a bunch of bricks. Normal summon it out, get your branded fusion, send one card back, then you can branded fusion and you go off. Then for the Keeper of Dragon Magic, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can discard one card, add one polymerization normal spell or fusion normal spell from your deck to your hand. You can reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck, special summon one of the fusion materials mentioned on that monster from your graveyard in phase down defense position. You can only use each effect of Keeper of Dragon Magic once per turn. You cannot special monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters the turn you activate either of this card's effects. So the first line is the most important here. Of course, you also use the second for some of the combos. We'll go into that later. But the first line means that you can essentially turn another card into your branded fusion to then hopefully end up on this guy. And then finally, branded fusion, of course, the star of the deck. You want to be opening this ideally. It says fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Alba as material from your extra deck using two monsters from your hand deck or field as fusion material you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters the turn you activate this card you can only activate one branded fusion per turn so you're basically sending fusion monsters from anywhere we know in Yu-Gi-Oh that is incredible we've already seen it with fusion destiny we've already seen it with red eyes fusion it always ends up being super powerful and this is no exception so branded fusion then leads into basically anything here and that then ends up on full combo you know as full combo as you can go in a three structured deck so these are the nine you want to be opening this at all costs next we have triple of tri brigade mercurier this is actually a specific to this archetype hand trap it reads when your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a fusion monster that mentions fallen of albas as material quick effect you can send this card from your hand or phase up on the field to the graveyard negate that effect so literally just 
Here we go, a monster negate. Incredible. If this card is banished, you can add from your deck to your hand one Fallen of Albas or one monster that mentions it except Tribrigate Mercurier. So that is an extra thing you can also do. But of course, having an extra hand trap specific to the archetype is incredible. Next, we have two Albion. Now, this card isn't as incredible in the deck. It is basically like an upstart goblin for the deck to hopefully draw into these. But it can also be used to make your plays better. Like this can be part of your fusion material and then it has some effects in the graveyard and so forth. Let's go over that real quick. But that's why it's two. Some people only run one. Some people run three because they just want to use it as an upstart in the triple structure deck at least. It says this card's name becomes Fallon of Albas while on the field or in the graveyard. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send one Fallen of Albas or one Branded Spell Slash Trap from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Apply the following effect based on where you sent it from. Hand, special summon this card. Deck, place this card on the bottom of the deck. Then if you play this, this card from your hand, draw one card. So again, some cool follow-up. Next, we have two Fallen of Albas because we do need this as our, let's say, engine requirement. This is how we make all of our fusions. But we don't want to brick on it either. It reads, if this card is normal or special summoned, except during the damage step, you can discard one card, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters on either field as fusion material, including this card, but you cannot use other monsters you control as fusion material. Once you start upgrading this deck, you're gonna start noticing that you use your opponent's monsters a lot for fusion summoning. You have like super poly. We'll get to that in the coming videos. Again, feel free to subscribe for that. But in this particular list, two Fallen of Albas makes sense. Next up, you're very lucky when you buy this deck because you have Triple Ghost Ogre, a really good hand trap this format, getting around the adventure engine. And then we have Triple Effect Failure. Now, of course, this isn't as impactful of a hand trap, but you got it in your structure deck, so you might as well run it. Also, what's really good is that Effect Failure is a light monster, so that also works together because one of your materials for one of your more important fusions requires a light. So together with the Ghost Ogres and one more card we'll be getting to, you have the critical mass of lights required in order to make your fusion summons work. Next, for the final lights, and this is probably the card everyone wants to see banned, we have one Artifact Sight. So this was reprinted in the deck as well, and we can actually use it in this deck, funnily enough. We'll get to that combo later, but essentially, yes, you can in fact sidelock your opponent, and you might make a few people very angry when doing so. Next, we have Triple Pot of Extravagance. This is a extra deck deck, but since we have triple copies of all the important fusions, usually you can just extraf and not really get too worried that you end up losing all of them, and that then hopefully draws you into your nine cards your whoa I don't have my nine here into one of these to then hopefully pop off. So it's still very, very worth it. Next, we have one branded loss. It states the activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that fusion summons a fusion monster cannot be negated. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when a fusion monster is fusion summoned this way. If you fusion summon a fusion monster, you can add one Fallon of Albas or one monster that mentions it from your deck to your hand. So if you open this, it can search into your other stuff and it also protects you from getting negated. Then we have one one branded in white. This says fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a dragon. You can also banish monsters from your graveyard as material if you use Fallen of Albus as fusion material from your hand, field, or banishing itself from your graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there to activate the effect of Fallen Albus this turn, you can set this card. Once again, we're trying to not have too many like things that you can brick on. We really want cards that are, you know, gonna be good and, and open up your place and worst case you can always search for a lot of these cards that's why these two are one-offs next one called by the grave because called by is an incredibly unfair card and also it can stop your opponent from potentially ashing you on your most important searches so if you're going to be using your um, kit to search or your keeper of dark magic to search for your branded fusion they ask you, you can just go called by and tell them to, you know, you know what you can tell them. Next, we have Triple Dark Ruler No More. This gives us basically nine going second cards, these six hand traps and then three basically cheap forbidden droplets. Not as good, of course, but it is an option. So this way we have nine cards like that. And of course, it's very, very good that this particular structure deck did reprint these cards because now you at least have access to that in a really easy way. Next, we have Triple. There can be only one. This is a floodgate. Of course, ideally, once you have have this deck fully upgraded you don't necessarily need floodgates but when you're still relying on you know only two forms of interruption in the deck this might be necessary as well 
Next, we have two branded retribution. So this is the counter trap. Ideally, you make it so you just search this. So this could be a one off if you're very, very brave. But in my opinion, sometimes you won't actually have the thing that searches this and ideally you want to have a board where you end on this guy plus the retribution so by running two of this you have like higher odds of not having to search it and hopefully more often ending on basically this board state and then finally we have triple back to the front now this isn't the most exciting card but there are quite a few things you can do with this so you can use this to summon back some of your fusions and that way have some more interaction but if you use your artifact side in order to fusion summon your albion the branded dragon if you hard drew your back to the front you can now flip that on your opponent's turn special summon out the artifact site and they don't get to use extra deck so you have a funny way of extra deck locking with this card as well so that in my opinion definitely makes it worth it either it is just another form of interruption with some of your fusions and otherwise it is literally just a side lock pretty pretty solid and if you're wondering what the effect is it just says target one monster in your graveyard special summon it in defense position next for the extra deck luckily we have a bunch of extra deck cards in this structure deck we start off with the important guy the Big Daddy, Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Of course, as a three off, especially because we are running the Extravagance. So this card says it needs a Fallon of Albas and one Fusion, Synchro, Xyz or Link Monster. You can only control one Ice Blade Dragon like this at a time. So you can only have one. Once per turn, quick effect, you can send one Fusion Monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that mentions Fallen of Albas as material. Banish one monster on the field. Also, this card cannot use this effect next turn. If this Fusion Summoned card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls during the end phase of this turn. So basically two forms of interaction just like that. Next, we are playing Triple Albion, the branded dragon. Fallen of Albas and a light monster. So like I said, you have your hand traps but you also have the artifact side to make this one if this card is fusion summoned you can fusion summon one level eight or lower fusion monster from your extra deck except albion the branded dragon by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand field and or graveyard during the end phase if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn you can add to your hand or set one branded spell spell or trap directly from your deck and then you can only use each effect of albion the branded dragon once per turn next we have triple lubelion the searing dragon right here one dark monster and one fallen of albas if this card is fusion summoned you can discard one card fusion summon one level eight or lower fusion monster from your extra deck except lubelion the searing dragon by shuffling fusion mo material monsters on it into the deck from your monsters on the field, graveyard, and or face-up banished cards. For the rest of this turn, this card cannot attack. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. You can only use this once per turn. Next, we have Brygrand, the Glory Dragon. One Fallen of Albas and one level 8 or higher monster cannot be destroyed by battle. While you control this fusion summoned card, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with monster effect. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one Tribrigate monster or one Fallen of Albas from your deck and once again once per turn then we have two sprint the iron dash dragon fall of elbas and one effect monster special summoned this turn during your main phase you can move this card you control to another one of your main monster zones then you can destroy all other phase up cards in this card's column during the end phase if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn you can add to your hand or special summon one spring monster or one fall of elbas from your deck so these essentially end up leading you to some of the main monsters that we have been talking about before and then finally, we have the one Titanic clad, the Ash Dragon. We've known this one for a while now. It, makes, it takes one Fallen of Albas and one monster with 2,500 or more attack. Gains attack equal to the combined original levels of the monsters used for its fusion summon times 100. After this card is fusion summoned, for the rest of this turn, it is unaffected by the activate effects of any other monsters special summoned from the extra deck. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one Dogmatica monster or one Fallen of Albas from your deck. So you can send this and then have a search. So now let's get into some combos. We start off with the most simple one, the most basic, and it is pretty ideal to open like this. We start with one branded fusion and one kit. So ideally, you go ahead and you activate your branded fusion, which then is going to let you fusion summon. So you're going to get rid of a Fallen of Albas as well as just a light. So let's say we have Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit right here. That then creates a Albion right here. Albion activates its effect banishing itself as well as the fallen of albas from before so we banish these two 
which then gives us our icy boy and then kit activates special summoning itself and that then searches the counter trap right here so then we basically get to set our counter trap and that is our two forms of interruption we have our ice jade boss and we have our counter trap just like that and all you had to do was open your branded fusion in your kit. Next, let's do an extension offset combo. Let's say you open something like this. Now, of course, you don't necessarily need both of these. It can literally be a branded fusion and something else and so forth. There's some variation you can do here. Be sure to read your cards in order to actually, you know, know what you're doing. But we're going to start by going branded fusion. We are going to get rid of our Fallon of Albaz right here. And this time our artifact sight rather than just a random hand trap. So that then creates our Albion activating its effect, banishing itself together with the Fallen of Albas to then create our Mirror Jade right here. We then special summon out Kit. Kit searches for our Counter Trap right here. We set it and then we also set our Back to the Front. Then it's our opponent's turn. We activate our Back to the Front, special summoning out our Artifact Sight and an Artifact Sight activates and basically turns off the extra deck from our opponent so they're locked out of that as well. Now in these first two combos your goal was to end on our Mirror Jade and then the Counter Trap. This time we're going to try to end on the Mirror Jade and the Hand Trap Mercurier. For that to happen we need spring and skit and branded fusion and then two random cards so let's go ahead and activate our branded fusion we're still as always going to send our fallen of albas but rather than going for a light we're this time going to go for a dark specifically our albion the shrouded dragon this then leads into our lubelion right here so when he is then summoned he activates his effect making us discard the card it's a ghost ogre now but it can literally be anything so it will fuse itself together with our fallen of albas so we shuffle it back for its effect as well as that fallen of albas to go into brigand right here so next kit special summons itself and it will search for a branded card as you know last time we used it to look for the counter spell but this time we're actually going to look for branded in white that's why again we were able to run one because we can literally search it anyway now for that cost of course we have to back one card again this was random so now we activate our branded in white we are able to banish our albion and then of course get rid of this guy in order to make the strongest boss we have which is our ice boy now so far this looks exactly like the previous combo of course however it's without a counter so what's going on well at the end of the turn we will now get to activate brigand right here because it says like i said earlier if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn you can add to your hand or special summon one tri brigade monster or one fallen of albas from your deck so we're going to look for the tri brigade monster and specifically our tri brigade mercurier and add it to our hand so this way we have the tri brigade hand trap and we also have our Ice Jade as a interruption. Again, the goal is for you to just go wild with all of these cards. But as you can see, the absolute goal every time is, of course, to use Branded Fusion to end on this beautiful boy right here. Ideally, you also open a little bit of a side lock, but of course, that requires some extra cards. I hope you found this interesting. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, it is very important that you do subscribe because we are having the budget version of this where we add some cards to really up the ceiling of this deck a lot. Like, honestly, for like 20 bucks, maybe now it's 30 or 40, you're able to take this deck to an entirely new level. And then, after that, we are going for an even more expensive version of the deck where you go completely half. So all of that and more on this channel. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you soon. Ciao.